we felt like we were wounded birds and you know they they picked us up and and put their arms around us and and really made us feel very cared for Dr. Stieglitz was the anchor and the propeller in terms of Quincy's care, and he recommended that we try this test to evaluate his, his leukemia, uh, which identified his leukemia cells having a very unique mutation, uh, and suggested that we try this medication that they've never tried in, in an infant. Uh, and this medication was actually invented by the scientists at UCSF. Um, so they basically said, trust us and take a huge leap of faith, and we did. Eight, nine. What comes after nine? Ten. To know that your child could potentially die from this process was just gut-wrenching. I mean, I just would go into the bathroom and pray and cry and just, please don't take my baby. It was really an emotional, emotional time for us. And this medication actually put Quincy into remission even before his transplant. Um, so it was basically a miracle. A few weeks later, we did a bone marrow aspiration and they told us the results, basically, which were that there was uh, no trace of leukemia in him at all anymore because of this drug that they'd been giving him. The drug had essentially turned the gene off that was creating his leukemia. So, um, yeah, it's pretty amazing, huh, Quincy? So that was, you know, uh, I don't know if that could have happened uh, if we were at any other hospital. Can you say bye-bye cancer? Bye-bye. <laughs>